is up you guys it is your girl kia cartel here with a video for my gang gang if you are new to my channel welcome if you are not new welcome back i've tried doing this video three times every single time that i've tried to do a video this week it's been some type of interruption my throat chakra honey i don't know what's going on like spirit really isn't trying to have me get this message out for some reason but we're gonna go ahead and do it hopefully it's smooth selling take what resonates leave what does not for whoever the hell it does belong to we're jumping straight into the read automatically why did i say automatically off the bat whatever your first card is the moon card okay you show up with this change or this this willingness to change accepting things are changing right your intuition is telling you that things have been a little off you've been a little off balance for a lot of you not really feeling like yourself something has to change here um you also have following that the hermit as aquarius it's you know in our nature to isolate ourselves and and kind of cut things and people off randomly without any explanation i feel like a lot of you have kind of gone through your ghosting phase of like yeah okay it's not really anything that you have going on or I have going on or we have going on, but I just need time by myself because I need to get my shit together and no one understands how that has to be done, okay? And then we have the magician. You tapping into your true self, creative, talented in many different areas, okay? Um, but really just trying to figure out where you should be putting most of your focus. I think a lot of you have a lot going on, of course, mentally. So it's one of those things where it's like, your opportunities are infinite you see that infinity sign like your opportunities are infinite where no matter where you put your energy you're bound to be successful wherever you decide to start it's just a matter of being consistent a lot of you have so many different things that you're working on it's hard for you to focus focus in on something that you really find um amusing to you right you're good at a lot of things but what re really drives you what really gets you going right what do you really want to do Love shows up, and you guys know it would not be my reading if we weren't a little all over the place. You know what I'm saying? As Aquarius, we can be. We got a lot of shit going on. We got a lot of things we're trying to do. Changes are taking place, and at the bottom of your deck, we do have the Seven of Swords coming through in not wanting to look back, right? Like, taking what it is that you have, a lot of you taking risk, you know what I'm saying? But leaving the past in the past. I'm no longer going to deal with the pressure and the stress and the people, you know what I'm saying? That just don't serve me well. <clears throat> I'm curious. And then you guys have the lovers coming through. Wanted to say it. Wanted to say it, but you have the lovers coming through, okay? Somebody coming in with the intention to build is what I feel. Along with that from the Oracle I have, I've been watching you over from every source. So along with that lovers card, this is just solidifying there is somebody who is definitely intrigued with you. Um, the story for Aquarius is always pulled in so many different directions. I feel like for some of you, this lover pertains to a person that you've known for a really long time, right? Whatever a really long time is for you, it could be five years, it could be 10, it could be 30, 40, you know what I'm saying? But the point being is this person isn't new. This person actually knows you. Sometimes it may feel better than you know yourself. So I do feel that with you being in this hermit phase and wanting to cut things off and go through your natural ghosting situation, um, <clears throat> you are now receiving the same energy from this person, right? This person knows you well enough to know, you know what, that's just you. So instead of checking on you, like you're expecting them to without using your words, this person has backed off. I do feel like this person is still um, engaging with you in some way or is looking to engage with you in some way. So this person isn't really going anywhere, but it's just a matter of them giving you space like you typically ask. Now, when you're normally in a relationship and you want your space, I think it's hard for people to understand why or, you know, why you're feeling like what you're feeling and why you have to go through that moment of hermit right like being isolated and getting your things together some most people take it personal when you do um but this person gives me again you know i'm very understanding as to what aqua has going on i'm not applying no pressure to that because i get it um and then for a lot of you you're dealing with 
a new energy. I think this is someone who is looking to actually learn me, right? This is someone who's like used to being the chaser, but also not used to being so intrigued or so interested in somebody as they are with you. You're making someone think here. You guys have the six of cups. So this is again, someone who wouldn't mind building with you. I think a lot of you have the attention of someone who can see themselves being more than just the the girlfriend or the boyfriend or just someone that you're dealing with but more like a husband or a wife right this is someone who's like you know what why pass up the opportunity to build with this type of energy because again aquarius energy is just an energy unmatched okay can we go ahead and clarify between my hermit and the magician we're free flowing today i wanted to start it off with that three card spread but I, i'm just really interested to see exactly how many different ways this can go for you guys. So we have the four of cups showing up. A lot of you being way too focused on something that does not serve you. Um, I will say just because, you know, it. yeah, you guys are torn between what seems to be two things or two people, but I just think many things in general, right? You guys have a lot going on and are kind of blinded by certain things along your path. But to go back to it, I feel like a lot of you feel pressured and I, I feel like a lot of you are being dragged into situations that aren't your situations, right? Um, something happened here and you've been way too focused on just that one thing. Um, not realizing the opportunities that await you, right? Like a lot of you want to travel. A lot of you want to start a new business. A lot of you want to interact and do other things that inspire you. But instead, you're so focused on something that took place yesterday. <laughs> and it's just not, it's just not working out. Let's go ahead and clarify the energy. honestly feel like I honestly feel like a lot of you are really in this space of rebuilding yourself and getting out there more um finding your power understanding your worth a lot more than you've really really understood it it's not that a lot of you don't know how powerful you are but you've been around some very draining energy and I do feel like a lot of you are recognizing, you know what, I don't want to be angry. I've shuffled this again, and you guys still have the two of swords coming through, which is definitely telling me that a lot of you have two people, specifically, because it's coming to me, two people that you're really torn between, right? Um, back to me giving you guys just the, the, the detail in the beginning, a lot of you could be dealing with a person that you do know and a new person, like a person you've been known and a new person. So... I think that both of these energies coming from these people inspire you in a different way. You can actually see yourself building with either or based off of different qualities that they have, but qualities that make sense for the type of person that you've become and the person in the life that you were looking to build. So it does become this thing of ecstasy where I feel like someone here fantasizes about a specific lifestyle, right? I do feel like a person fantasizes about you often as well. So if you find yourself thinking about a person randomly or having these random thoughts of like the future, right? I think that's because that person is completely manifesting your energy into their space. Um, for a lot of you, this is a person who comes off very like blah, you know what I'm saying? This isn't a person that seems to um, want to tell you how into you they are they kind of want to play it cool this is a person who is who feels very i don't want to say arrogant but they build themselves up a lot which isn't a bad thing but they just make it kind of like yeah they're not really tripping on a relationship it is what it is um <clears throat> let's go ahead and clarify the intention of this person though because i do feel like there is a lot of interest that is taking place here thank you so we have the four of swords right and then we have the Knight of Rods. So this is a person who's been through some things. Okay. You're dealing with a person who's been through some things, who doesn't trust well. They, The relationships they were in, it feels like they were very committed to that until something happened that just didn't sit well, right? I almost feel like their feelings have been hurt. And 
they're not the best at expressing this. So they act out sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Or they act very cold hearted. Um, but this is definitely a person who has like one more in him. You know what I'm saying? I feel like with this four of swords, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I've been through some things. I've been hurt. I've, I've laid, um, uh, I've laid down and thought about certain things, but I do have, you know what I'm saying? One more try in me. And I do feel like this person can really sense that you have qualities that they've been looking for in a person or a partner. So you are really shaking somebody up here when it comes down to um, switching up their ego. Someone here has a, a very large ego that you are kind of simmering down. It's like, all right, buddy, you're a little hot. You know what I'm saying? You're used to being, you're used to being hot, but chill out. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't think that they mind that with you. Now, we're going to go ahead and get into it, but I'm hearing like when you're with this person, they love that. They're actually, they're not letting you know how they do fantasize about having a home or a family with you based off of just seeing how you interact with them in that space. But when you guys separate, I do feel like this person almost goes insane. Like it's like they want to know what you're doing all the time. And if they had the opportunity to know that, they would. Like if you could, if they could be with you all the time without both of you feeling smothered, they would. Um, taking things slow is what I'm feeling, but they're is a lot of balance. I have Sagittarius coming out, okay, with the temperance. Uh, this person definitely would marry you. Just want to say that. But this is tranquility, okay? The, you give this person a different perspective on relationships, okay? It's giving me soulmate energy for sure. As I say that, I have Aquarius coming out with the star. I don't make this shit up. I think a lot of you have the same feeling, mutually with this person without having to express words i think a lot of you are recognizing that you are more than just a girlfriend or more than just you know you're more than just what people have given you um so at this time you are i think a lot of you are manifesting like real connections commitment okay um contentment in who you are but also someone who understands that you are a very creative intellectual but i like my space type of person this is someone who is just going to get it right and who's going to understand without question or place any insecurities on the relationship based off of the space you do need so we do have the sun coming out in the reverse okay lack of enthusiasm i think a lot of you have definitely experienced um being down for a really really long time Okay, I think um, I, I see uh, stillbirth and abortion miscarriage. So for any of you that may have gone through a loss when it comes to a child, it's rare that I get this type of energy, let alone this card in that sense. But um, I do feel like a lot of you are going through the healing process as far as just losing people in general. But when it comes to your kids, it is a very, very big deal. So I think that there could be someone looking to insert themselves from that previous relationship, if that is the case, someone that... You could already have kids with this person, right? Um, but I do feel like this is a person who is using the kids as a reason to kind of get back into your space. So depending on how you feel about that person, um, you know, I would just be careful when it comes down to just your feelings and emotions and allowing certain things in that you know don't feel good, okay? Let's go ahead and tap in real quick. I do want to know exactly where you stand emotionally. Just because it does feel like a lot of you are going through what feels like a very dark phase, but um, needed, right? Like a lot of you needed to take time away from certain things and people in order to recognize like you're okay. Um, I have free will, independence, free spirit. Yeah, so a lot of you trying to get back to yourself and your independence, your sobriety, okay? Um, recognizing that alone time is needed there are a few of you who feel like you've gone through relationship after relationship after relationship and like when do i really have time for me <sighs> for whatever reason i feel like i've just been running maybe someone has jogged um or you just you know you have such high anxiety where you do feel like okay damn bitch i need to breathe <laughs> like let me breathe i have love conquers all coming through so again that love interest coming through at a very calm time in your life 
I think that you come across this energy or you reconnect with an energy once you've actually accomplished a mission you've been putting aside. So a lot of you have things that you have to complete before you can actually even think about a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a lot of compassion that comes along with the energy of this person. This is a person I think once getting to know exactly where they stand in your life. Um, they're willing to take on a lot of the things that, you know, you take on on a daily. I think this is someone who is coming in as like, okay, let me play this role that you've been playing for a really long time. Um, <clears throat> I want to go ahead and tap into the Oracle deck again. Just so I can get some insight on who this this person may be. This does feel like a real love connect. I do feel like, again, this person comes off very um, distant sometimes. Like, it, it's almost as if this person is really looking for you to chase them. Like, really wants you to know what they're thinking without having to tell you type of thing. It's like, we got a vibe. You should already know what I'm talking about. And it's like, I don't. If you don't communicate with me, then I'm going to feel like you don't have an interest. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and tap into the energy of what it is that... Ooh, why didn't that come out? Did y'all see that? What it is that the person looking to pursue Aquarius is feeling. So we have, it's hard to show, but I do care about you so much. Right. Again, so we're dealing with a person who is just not willing to really open up. I think that this person is trying to take things slow. So they're making sure that, you know, you are the one. They're not just jumping into something. But I do feel they want to jump into this a lot quicker than they are allowing themselves. Like, you make them feel so comfortable to the point where, like, they would just marry you today if they could. But they know, um, like, reasonably, this has to take its time in its course let's go ahead and get more insight on who this person could be what is it all right this is coming to an end okay let's go ahead see with you guys having multiple energies to pull through i feel like someone can feel you leaving them behind based off of your energy being directed elsewhere so i don't think it's necessarily like a person telling you like it's over i just think that a person who isn't willing to let you go is realizing like eventually i have to because aquarius is just not giving in right i've i haven't given aquarius exactly what they need so they can feel you leaving them behind let's go ahead and pull through the intention of the person coming through for my aquarius what is the intention of the person coming through from my Aquarius? Sorry for breaking your trust, period. Sorry, 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 right? Um, you guys are going to get a lot of that. And I think you guys are getting that not just from relationship or past relationships, intimate connections. I think you guys are getting a lot of that from people who just doubted you in general, right? Um, people that you actually trusted who showed you they can't be trusted. So this could be family, friends, but I do feel like a lot of you are changing certain cycles, realizing like not everybody deserves to be on the winning team. You know what I'm saying? You guys have the Page of Rods coming out, the Page of Swords, as well as the Knight of Cups. So you're definitely planning for something major or something is already in the works for you. That's what I want to say. Um, a lot of you are just, and I feel like you know this already, but a lot of you are destined to be much bigger than you give yourself credit for. And a lot of you have talents that you aren't really pushing forward with that is creating a block, right? You're not doing what really feeds the soul. So it's kind of like, okay, if we're not feeding ourselves the things that we actually need, how are we able to grow? Um, a lot of you with this page of swords energy needs to stand firm and actually go for the things that you really, really want. Knight of Cups coming through and being solid in who you are. So this is all about determination and the willpower. Somebody here um, definitely likes the fact that you are you. Every time they come across you, whether you got a little attitude here and there, whether you talk a little spicy, whether you're super quiet, 
They love the fact that you are consistent in who you are and they can see that you are not changing to please anybody else, right? We do have the Hierophant coming through in your person's energy in the Ace of Cups. A lot of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay, it's giving me Earth energy, Capricorn. Um, and then we have the Ace of Swords coming through. This is somebody who is stable, right? This is a person, I haven't even been showing y'all the cards so because it's just flowing, but this is a person who is stable. I think a lot of you are dealing with a person, or you could be this person, right? But either way, the energy coming through from your person is someone who is ready to be that person for their person, okay? You're not dealing with no little ass boy, no little ass girl, no little, whoever you're interested in. You're not dealing with a kid. You're dealing with somebody who is actually like proud to be the person that they've become. So um, with the Ace of Cups energy, again, this is someone who can definitely see like marriage, building a family, entrepreneurship, having several businesses, just being in their power, but also not being overstepped, right? If you are with a man who is in his masculine, for real, you're dealing with the person who is looking to lead, not looking to follow, So if you are currently manifesting someone who is able to allow you to sit back, okay, interchangeable energy. I feel like a lot of you could be that person for whoever is pulling through, but someone here is able to provide security and stability in someone's life regardless, okay? Um, we have the King of Rods coming through. It did come out in the reverse, so I do feel like someone here just wants to be able to take a break from having to think so much. A lot of you have been in this position of thinking way too much. It's crowding your actual path. Um, this seems to have turned more into a love reading as far as just the energy and where, you know, we're directed. But I do feel like a lot of you have the attention of someone who is looking to change the game. Okay, ending conflict. A lot of you find yourselves dealing with weird ass people and things lately. Feeling very, very tested. I feel the same way. I almost feel like I'm being tested and something great is supposed to happen right after. Um, but feeling defeated is going to be normal considering you are getting uncomfortable with certain situations. You are branching out. You are not dealing with things that are comfortable. So it's going to create some type of some type of discomfort, right? You're, you're going to be uncomfortable with making certain moves. A lot of you that don't know how you're going to make these moves, you figure it out. It works in your favor. You are, a lot of you are um, naturally gifted the ability to really manifest the things that you want if you really focus in on what it is that you want. So believing in yourself is key for many of you in this room right now. Compassion, showing up in the hunter, get aggressive, okay? I feel like a lot of you, again, and then I have creators showing up. So a lot of you need to tap into that determination and your willpower, you're not giving yourself enough credit at this time, okay? Remember, there are people who are look. I've seen a post, but I'm giving them credit, okay? Um, there are people who are looking at you with the perception of you having your shit together and being able to do it at with ease. Meanwhile, you're doubting yourself when people think that you have your shit together. You need to give yourself more credit. A lot of you are very capable of living the lifestyles that you want to live and having the things that you want to have, but you're not really giving yourself the credit. So when it comes down to getting the relationship that you want and having the lifestyle that you want and bringing in the money that you want, financial stability is definitely prominent here. I feel like a lot of you gain... Um, more abundance once you are starting to put yourself out there more somebody is getting a lot more comfortable with their craft and their passion their gift okay we have the ace of rods coming through you're a fucking flower blooming okay your season not everybody is gonna understand you do you understand you is the point Okay, but there is somebody, man, this this love interest is a person who literally thinks about you on a regular. They may come off like, again, they're just so cool. They just, you know, they got this routine. They do this and that. But even when you guys are not in each other's space, they're thinking like, damn, I wonder what he or she's doing. I wonder what they're doing. They got like, 
are they gonna text me? And this person tries not to text or call first just to remain cool and hold that stature of like, I'm unbothered, honey, bye. We have the seven of pentacles coming through. So success showing up with the five of cups in the reverse. So the things that you do find challenging are no longer challenging. These are lessons that I feel a lot of you actually learn. Finding your path, right? Like when life gives you fucking lemons, you can make slushies, you can make ice cream, you can make cake. You can make like, it's what you want. It's not about what other people want you to have. You have the seven of pentacles and the page of pentacles showing up amazing energy pretty much getting everything that it is that you want okay i do feel like a lot of you are reconnecting with yourself and finding this this space within peace and just recognizing like you are the reason why you overwhelm yourself and you create a lot of anxiety is because you're not giving yourself time Right. Some of you need to take more time to heal before jumping into certain situations. But a lot of you need to recognize that you have control. Changes are happening. Transitions are happening. Moving is taking place for a lot of you. OK, study, study, study is what I'm hearing. Um, a lot of you need to study. A lot of you need to focus in on something that's going to bring you a lot of money. I'm going to leave this here again. I love these readings because I just feel like, damn, Aqua is we're some, we're some crazy, creative, intellectual beings for sure. Um, but I love, love, love you all. I hope that this message resonates with most of you. Um, let me know in the comments how you guys feeling, what's going on. I love the fact that you guys communicate in the comments the way that you do. It just warms my heart. Right, It makes me want to shed a tear. Um, but it does make me really, really happy. If you are looking to support this channel, just make sure that you are, you know, hitting that subscribe button. It helps to get um, other Aquarius and other people who are interested and connected with our videos to come and check out our community. We're a family over here. I always say I'm like y'all's favorite cousin. I'm y'all's god sister. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, auntie. Well, I don't know. I'm somebody's auntie. Um... But yeah, we want to make sure that we are building our community and we are making sure that this is getting through to the people that it needs to get through to. So hit that thumbs up button. Make sure that you guys are clicking the bell above if you want to be notified every single time that I do post a video. Check out my vlog channel, okay? Sensitive Savage Diaries. It's a thing where I am getting ready to actually document my process. I'm getting more comfortable with like, okay, Kia, this is what you got to do. But I would love to have you all over there to to you know support that and just give me ideas on a lot of things that I need help with because I'm doing a lot so I'm gonna need somebody's help and I need opinions because I often sometimes don't want to even think for myself um but we're gonna go ahead and call this a video if you would like a personal reading and you don't already know the drill check out my instagram which is going to be below hit me up in my dm and we'll talk about what that looks like for a 30 minute or an hour reading um but it's all personal through video no text messages no calls you'll be directly talking to me like this and we have a lot of fun and get through to a lot of things that you need clarity on so i'm out see you guys next time